Hi guys, so it's getting into the middle of June and I just wanted to give you an update on where we are with the aquaponic system. So what we've done is we've uh, cycled the system through, it's gone through uh, a number of weeks, it seems to be uh, settling down and we've got the nitrite and the nitrate levels uh, you know, at a good uh, level and uh, the plants seem to be doing okay. The fish, we have two types of fish that we've uh, been running the system with. We had some trout um, and we got some koi in there. Now the trout weren't so happy because the water wasn't going fast enough for them I think so they didn't seem to be doing that well so we've uh, we've got rid of the trout now uh, and then we'll have a look at that again another day and see about maybe getting some trout in but the koi certainly seems to be loving the the conditions and they're certainly producing enough nutrients so uh, let me show you what they're doing. So if I take the lid off the koi hopefully we can see these little fellas swimming around nicely so in here there we go We've got about 20 koi in there, um, including a ghost koi somewhere. Uh, but there we go, in the middle there. So it seems to be a uh, really nice environment for them, nice and clear water. You can see just the, you know, a little bit of algae growth just at the bottom and at the sides there. But that all seems to be coming uh, fairly clean and uh, they're keeping nice and happy. Got the solids lifting overflow on the side there, and that's working lovely, and it's all coming through. All the pipework is coming out of the tank, so it seems to be working lovely, so that's working like a treat. It's all two inch pipe going through the radial flow filter there, and then goes onto the bio filter, and then comes down and into the sump. Now, with the sump, we've uh, put a cover on this just to make it uh, you know, a little bit safer for children about and, and such like, uh, and animals don't want anyone falling into there. And then if we go next door, so come out of the tunnel where the fish are and go into the greenhouse. Now we've got a little bit of an issue here. So we have the canal that's got all of the um, plants in there which will be floating on the top there. So we've got deep water culture. And unfortunately, if you can see down the sides here, it's slipped quite considerably. So the actual sides have moved away from the floats, uh, the rafts on top there, and we now have probably four, five inch gap down the sides. And that's simply because the sides made of wood have just bowed out. So across the bottom of these connectors, so where you've got these connectors going up the sides here, um, from the bottom you can just see a bolt in there. So that goes into a piece of wood that goes all the way across underneath um, and from one side to the other. It's bolted together and obviously the pressure of the water is too much for the big coach, coach screws that are in there. So what I've done is I've just been to uh, a local welding company and what I've done is I've just got some rods um, and they've just welded on some threaded ends for me. So with some uh, washers and some nuts I'm going to have to drill through the sides and actually make uh, some new connectors out of steel rather than the wooden ones but um so that's the job for the weekend now it's been 30 degrees last couple of days uh, i had a thunderstorm last night and it's dropped down to 22 degrees but obviously inside the glass house it's still well over 30 degrees so um we have to wait till the sun goes down before thinking about doing that and you can see that the plants here um not got as many nutrients as we'd like uh, at the moment so they're a little bit yellow uh, and not getting enough but the tomatoes down the side in the suspended pot deep water hydroponics. They've loved it, so we've had loads and loads and loads of crop off them, um, and there's just a few tomatoes left. Um, they'll continue to, to grow and keep us going through the uh, final weeks of the summer. But um, yeah, from that point of view, systems circulating going very well, but uh, certainly with the fact that this has uh, popped its uh, size a little bit, you know, do need to do some maintenance now. The part that we added onto the system uh, was the zigzags with the water running out of the deep water, up to the top, zigzagging down and then going back into the deep water before that continued back to the sump. Now that has worked remarkably well and we've got a whole load of strawberries off here. Um, we've had, you know, a nice crop off there. There were early strawberries so uh, we've got uh, lots of fruit off there that we've already eaten and now you know they're getting towards perhaps the end of, of their season uh, and we'll need to replace these with some other plants but uh, that has worked remarkably well. So all in all very happy with the system. Uh, the beds are doing well, the raft 
needs a little bit of repairs you know, to the deep water culture. But yeah, all in all, definitely a great system. And um, give you another update uh, soon. Okay, thanks very much, guys.